Wanna know how people manage to get a crazy score? Stick around. Before we start, like the video or I am taking your cat. First let me recap everything in one minute because people have been confused. There are no huge change from the basic concept of MIGO Season 1 Underground and Season 3 Underground. There are Infected Mini Boss and Room Boss which all existed before in every season. Now what has been added is three buildings on the floors. All of these buildings with the exception of the big building are for you only you can do them whenever you want. No rush is needed and everyone will only see his buildings and no fighting for them. However this big building is for your entire alliance so you need to send squad here because the slots are limited and shared. What else has been added is raid token, which is just gonna make you finish multi-attacks in one go other than repeating the attack many times. I hope this clears everything. Now how does people get such insane score and cells? As mentioned before there are infected, mini boss and room boss. There are one thing that happens to these bosses but it's a chance, and for you to see it you will need to watch over the last moments of the boss because it ends on instant. Before the boss dies there is a big chance that this boss will turn into purple infected boss type. You see this knife mark? This knife mark means it's squad attack. All of these bosses has a chance of turning into purple skull which turns the boss into huge infected that drops ton of cells. However you need to be extremely fast. It doesn't last seconds. It goes away fast so you need to watch over the bosses. As soon as they swap from knife mark to skull go and attack them on instant. See it's gone on an instant, I did manage to hit him once, but I made another clip so you see it better. And here is the video to show you how it happens. See, boss turned into purple skull here I was lucky and rushed a raid attack. Kindly share the video and the trick, be a helpful cat to your friends and mates, preventing the knowledge and being a selfish cat will only help yourself but not the others. I wish you all to get the full rewards, there will be more follow up guides to help you be even better.